The Thunderjaw is an Apex combat class machine, and one of the biggest in its class. Its size and wide array of heavy artillery make it one of the most feared of all machines. The Thunderjaw resembles a Tyrannosaurus Rex, being a huge bipedal machine with two powerful stocky legs, a large head, a long body and a tail for balance. They stand 9 meters tall and are 24 meters long. They also feature antennas on the top side, as well as a radar scanner capable of detecting threats even when hiding. It features an array of deadly weaponry consisting of a laser weapon in its mouth, cannons on each side of its jaws, and twin disc launchers on top of its hips. It will also perform a number of melee attacks like charging and slamming its tail. They are heavily armoured, with their body covered in a hard outer casing to protect synthetic muscle and operational systems. Like most large machines, Thunderjaws are usually found alone, or sometimes in pairs patrolling the area of their respective side. Their heavy footsteps serve as an early warning to anyone wandering too close. The Thunderjaws' huge size, power, weaponry and toughness Coupled with their ability to detect hunters hiding in tall grass thanks to their radar scanner makes it one of the most formidable machines. They have no elemental weaknesses and are resistant to shock damage. To take one down, your best bet is to stay out of the line of sight, preferably while taking cover behind rocks or at higher ground, and disable as much of their weaponry as possible. Weapons that deal tear damage are the best option, and then pick up one of its disc launchers and use this against it. Its main weak points are the heart and data nexus, located on each side and on top of the head respectively. After enough armour has been removed, weapon strikes on these areas will cause significant damage once they're exposed. Also, landing an elemental arrow on their corresponding canisters will cause an elemental explosion. Unlike Zero Dawn terraforming machines, which were designed and controlled by Gaia, combat machines were instead designed by Hephaestus after it seized control of the cauldron facilities and begun to create aggressive machines in order to counter humans hunting them for their resources in a phenomenon known as the derangement. The Thunderjaw is one of the most extreme cases of this. The Shadow Karja Splinter Group, known as the Eclipse, were able to corrupt at least two Thunderjaws and use them to attack the Nora. Corrupted machines are those affected by the corrupting properties of Metal Burn, the network hijacking capability of the Pharaoh Chariot Line robot, the FAS ACA3 Scarab, also known as the Corrupter to Human Tribes. A corrupted Thunderjaw is identified by the red tendrils emerging from its chassis. And Hephaestus also produced Daemonic Thunderjaws, using one to guard the entrance to Cauldron Epsilon. Daemonic machines are machines augmented by the artificial intelligence Hephaestus. A demonic Thunderjaw is distinguished by the purple coloured tendrils emerging from its chassis. The Thunderjaws were one of my most favourite machines from Zero Dawn, and I can't wait to battle them again in Forbidden West. That time you first finally managed to defeat one is so satisfying. They were definitely the most awesome and intimidating machine in the game in my opinion, and one of the most iconic and memorable too. A robot T-Rex, how cool is that? And if you want to check out my tier list where I rank all of the Horizon Zero Dawn machines, I'll have that linked at the end screen as well as my Horizon playlist. Thanks for watching, and I'll See you next time.